Welcome inside Cessna's Citation Mustang. Cessna's new jet offers a state-of-the-art cockpit with impressive ergonomics and glass panel displays. With six aboard, it can take off in little over 3,000 feet and land even shorter. It will cruise at 340 knots at 35,000 feet and offers an 1167 nautical mile range. There are few airports that the Mustang can't reach quickly and comfortably. But among the aircraft's most impressive features is the fact that all of its amenities and performance are neatly crafted into a package that's just over 40 feet long with a 43-foot wingspan. Those dimensions win the Mustang its place as the smallest in the line of Cessna's jets. Cessna's designers created space in the Mustang by incorporating a fuselage cross-section that's wider on the bottom and round on top. It's a small jet, but pass through the door and the added room is obvious. You can see the cabin comfort. Again, this is a, as a result of the departure of Cessna using a perfectly round fuselage and going to the top half being round and the bottom half of the fuselage is widened out at the bottom, somewhat oval, and it allows for a lot more leg and hip room from down. I happen to be probably on the bigger side of average anyhow. I'm at 6'4", and about 290 pounds. 50 over where I should be, but anyhow, the, uh, I can sit in these seats quite comfortably. The aft-facing seat says as well. He has a little bit more normal size here, and you can see how much comfort she has sitting in the airplane. And of course, the standard jet type amenities if you want to work on the table or uh, uh, read a book. Or, there's also a DC power supply in the airplane. As well as the, uh, with the Garmin features, of course, we have the, uh, the XM entertainments available as well. Negotiating the cabin is likely easier than you'd expect, and on the whole, the four-seat passenger area is just a pleasant place to be. In the cockpit, the Mustang's very small-sized center console first makes access very easy for a pilot and co-pilot, and then facilitates use of the high-powered Garmin stack that dominates the panel. Dual Garmin G1000 displays are enhanced by a 15-inch multifunction display, which Cessna says is the largest found on any business jet. The setup right now is the G1000, very similar to what we have in the piston, but uh, one of the biggest differences is, is that the data entry is done through the keypad down here versus uh, knob twisting. That and the 15-inch PFD. Your flight planning the unit will display traffic, terrain, air data, engine information, text and graphical weather including METARs and TAFs, NEXRAD and more. As well as the flight profile, it does set up your cabin pressurization schedule as well. There's no need to enter the, uh, the altitude that you're going to be landing at because the, the airplane already knows the altitude you left and the altitude that you're going to at your destination airport. The list goes on. Also, this has safe taxi as well. Um, safe taxi allows you to bring up the airport diagram for the airport you're at. And I think you look at the chart here. There's the approach plate or the airport diagram and there's us on the airport. For situational awareness, as I'm taxiing, I will see every point that I'm going across. So rather than trying to hold the diagram in my lap, copy ATC's information, I can copy ATC's information and actually get a good visual picture of where I am in reference to the runway and the other uh, taxi boats. Pricing for Cessna's six-seat Citation Mustang is set near $2.65 million. Cessna plans to deliver 40 Mustangs by year-end 2007, with its production schedule set to ramp up through 2009.